All right, I'm gonna be honest. I picked the topic of this video purely for the name alone. It's the motherfucking demon core. Like, fuck, man, that shit is evil. I'm going to church after I record this. I gotta cleanse my fucking soul just after hearing the name. It sounds like it's like straight out of a video game or something. Like, you know, some serious shit is going down when the characters start talking about the demon core. Like, buckle up, bitch, shit's about to get real. The Demon Core was a 6 kilogram sphere of plutonium. It was designed to be used as the core for a third World War II nuclear bomb. However, after Japan surrendered, testing continued on the core anyway. So where did it get the name Demon Core? Well, actually, it was originally called Rufus, which is a fairly innocuous name. It's like a name someone would give to their Jack Russell. And God, I hate those fucking dogs, those little shits. What kind of transition do you have to go through to go from mildly annoying to soul consuming? First, I have to explain some physics. Now, I'm no scientist. In fact, like most YouTubers, I am indeed a fucking imbecile. So I'll explain it to the best of my understanding, but if you're a physicist or anything, feel free to explain in the comments why you're no fun at parties. Critical mass is a term in nuclear physics, which means the smallest amount of fissile material needed for a sustained nuclear chain reaction. So basically, if an object reaches critical mass or goes super critical, some bad shit is about to happen. Obviously, this concept is pretty important for making nuclear bombs. You want your bomb to go super critical when you detonate it. Now, lots of bombs were made pretty close to critical mass so that it's easier to detonate them. You don't want to drop a bomb that doesn't fucking go off. Unfortunately, this makes them more prone to accidents. Rufus was designed to be 5% below critical mass so that they had a pretty small safety margin when they were fucking around with this thing. Tests of nuclear cores involve seeing how close the core is to critical point by arranging what are called reflectors nearby and measuring how pissed off the core gets. In August of 1945, physicist Harry Doglian was performing one such test he was using tungsten bricks as reflectors, stacking them up and just making the core angrier and angrier. He was about to add another brick to really piss it off when he dropped the brick right on the fucking core. Now remember when I said that you needed to be careful fucking around with this thing? Yeah, dropping off fucking brick on it is definitely not recommended. The core went fucking apeshit and went super critical. Can you imagine being Harry Doggian right now? What the fuck do you do? You just dropped a fucking brick on a nuclear core. It's like when you break something in someone's house when they're out of the room and you're wondering if you should just fucking like say something or should you just hide it or like what? Doglian took the brick off, but Rufus was already pretty mad. Doglian was the only one in the room and he died 25 days later of acute radiation poisoning. To ensure another incident like this never happened again, a number of advanced safety protocols were put in place. That number was a uh, zero. Enter physicist Lewis Sloten. Tests now involved the core being placed inside two beryllium hemispheres, which would act as reflectors. The top hemisphere was manually moved up and down to gauge the core's reaction. Sloten decided that the best way to perform this was to just fucking jam a screwdriver between the two hemispheres. No, that isn't a joke, like really a screwdriver. Just a normal screwdriver was all that was stopping the core from going super critical. Now I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's fucking retarded. Like there's a level of common sense here that's just totally absent. Like the first incident, I can understand that was an accident, okay? Like he dropped the brick, he didn't mean to do that, he fucked up, it was an accident. But this screwdriver was part of the plan. This was the protocol for doing the test. These nuclear cores are serious business, like how was this just allowed to happen? How many people looked at this setup and thought, Meh, yeah. That looks about right. Apparently Sloten was known to be a bit of an asshole. He kept performing the test in front of rooms of people wearing his trademark blue jeans and cowboy boots. I can imagine him now just wiggling the screwdriver up and down like, way physics. People told Sloten to stop fucking doing that and if he kept doing it, they'd be dead within a year. Now what they didn't know is that a screwdriver, blue jeans and cowboy boots is actually a winning combination. Nothing could go wrong. In May of 1946, something went wrong. 
Slotin was arsing around, doing the test in front of a room of, of people like he usually did, when a screwdriver slipped a fraction of an inch. Oh, who could have foreseen that happening? Within an instant, there was a flash of blue light and the core went super critical. Slotin quickly flipped the top hemisphere off, putting an end to the accident. It was too fucking late. Slotin was blasted with radiation, the position of his body shielding the others in the room. Although others were injured by the radiation, Sloten was the only one to be mortally affected. Sloten would die nine days later of acute radiation poisoning. And with this, Rufus would become the Demon Core. Thanks to the Demon Core, hands-on criticality experiments were stopped. One of the survivors designed remote control machines and TV cameras to perform such experiments with all personnel at a quarter mile distance. The Demon Core was planned to be used in a couple of tests, but these plans all fell through. The Demon Core was later melted down and recycled for use in other cores.